Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, the tech channel, and I'm going to talk about how to program this little guy. It's a Netgear Wi-Fi booster. It extends the Wi-Fi signal to the parts of your house that might not be getting a very good signal. The model is a WN1000RP. Uh, the big advantage of it is how simple it is to set up. If all you need is just a simple Wi-Fi boost in your house, you can use the WPS button on the side, WPS button on your router, and within a couple minutes have it up and running and that'll be all you need. But this video is for a more in-depth look at how to go in and program this manually if you need to change the network name, you need to change the password, other settings. I'm going to show you some things on my laptop here and explain how to do that. So if you're looking for the quick review and how to set this up with just pressing the two buttons and wait a couple minutes, I'll put the link for that over here so you can jump to that. But if you want to see how to program it and set it to do exactly what you need it to do, then keep watching. Okay, if you're going to program this, it needs to be on and you need to connect to it via web browser. So that means if you just open the package, plug it into the wall, give it a minute to do its thing, and what it will do on its own is it will create a network called Netgear underscore EXT and there will be no password for it. So what you'll do is go to your device like your laptop, look at your list of Wi-Fi networks, connect to the Netgear underscore EXT, it should let you join that network, but of course there won't be any internet access because you haven't connected this to your router yet. So that's fine, so long as you're on this network. You then open up a browser, what you want to type to get to the programming screen for this in your web browser up at the top, the address bar, erase whatever's in there, Put in mywifiext.net, just like a web address. You type that in, hit enter. It should then take you to a screen asking you for a username and password. And the username is admin, A-D-M-I-N. Password is password, it's all lowercase. Once you enter that, it should take you into the programming screen where you have some options over on the left. I'll show you that shortly. Now, if you've already set this up to work as a uh, Wi-Fi booster, so in other words, it's already connected to your network, you did, say, the WPS buttons, and for some reason that isn't working out, you need to change the password or something, you'll connect to this network. So let's say you had your router, and that was Sam's Wi-Fi. This created the network Sam's Wi-Fi underscore EXT. So you'll make sure you're on that network. Here I am with the browser screen and the address bar. I've typed the myWiFiEXT.net. That takes me to the login screen where I need to enter as a username admin, A-D-M-I-N. Password is password. And this should be the screen you're seeing right now. All right, here's the network on my basic router, the K2 network down here under the extended wireless setting. K2 underscore EXT, that's what I have currently. Now if I want to change things, I'll go over to Setup, Wireless Settings, and right here is where I can change the Wi-Fi name. Howdy, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can change it to a different name, or what you can do, what some people do, is change it to the same name as the primary router. That way you don't have as much of the switching off between networks when you move around your house. The reason that's important is with the mobile devices, if they are connected to one network, they want to stay connected to that to the last possible minute when the signal gets too weak and then they'll switch to the other network. What that does is it means they have to increase the power output to the antenna. What that means is you're using up more battery. So basically if you set your Wi-Fi extender to the same network name as your basic Wi-Fi in the house, the uh, devices will switch more easily and they won't have to use as much power to the antenna. Your battery lasts longer. That's the reason to make that change. Here are your security options. Seems to be an issue sometimes with connecting this to a router that's set for the TKIP slash AES. It likes just plain AES. So I found that if you're having issues with getting it to work, going into your router and changing that security setting, best of all, you change it to the wireless end if all of your devices will support that in your network, and then change it uh, to uh, the WPA2 and the AES. That'll resolve a lot of issues with connecting. Okay, now here's the passphrase. Right now it's change me. So that's the same as I've set on my router, and I can change this to something, something else, like a real good one, password. And that's certainly handy if you're, for example, dealing with kids and trying to keep them on this network so you can con time control their internet usage. 
These are probably the two main changes you'll need to make. You need to come in and do manually for those various purposes. If there's something else you need to do, you can see the menu here, walk it through. There's also the little instruction book that'll help you out with that too. All right, that's about it. Make sure you click apply up on the top of the screen once you've made your changes and then it'll reboot it. And in a minute or two, you should see the changes. Remember, if you've changed the network name or the password, you're gonna to have to go back into your devices and then reconnect with the correct network name and password. And one last thing, if you do forget the password with all the password changing or you end up locking yourself out of the device, all is not lost on the bottom. There is a reset button. It needs to be plugged in and have power at the time you do it. And it's really tiny. Even the, the tip of a ballpoint pen won't work. You'll need to unfold a paper clip or get a thumbtack sort of thing. Press it in there, hold it, five, ten seconds until you see the lights start doing funky things. Let go and it will reset itself back to its factory default state. It'll set itself back to uh, Netgear underscore EXT as the name with no security on it. And then you can get right back in and do whatever you need to with it. So you can do a lot with this little guy. It's really been a, a great buy. It's a great bargain. Easy to set up in its easiest mode and you can actually manually configure it to exactly what you need. If you have some questions, if you run into a problem with it, I occasionally get back to look at the comments on this. So feel free to post a comment and ask a question. Since I've worked with this a while, I might be able to help you on that. Or somebody else who's uh, reading the comments or posting, they may be able to help you out as well. If you want more information about this little guy, take a look at the link down below. I've put a link to the best price I could find for it online.